Hey, Adam. Yo. You know, we have a special guest today. I do know. A very special guest. Yeah, you know, we're doing some hustling, too. We are. And we just came up with this title 17 seconds ago. What's so it called? Hustling with Hutch. I'm Adam Ennis. And I'm Peter Martin. And you're listening to the You'll Hear It podcast. Jazz Explained. Man, that's Hutch right there in the intro music. That is Hutch in the intro music. That's <laughs> Hutch on screen. What's up, Greg Hutchinson? Gregory Hutchinson is with <laughs> This is such an awesome uh, day, uh, Gregory, Mr. Gregory Hutchinson, who needs no introduction, but I'm going to give him a small one anyway. But he's a friend of the pod, friend of the open studio, and, and our friend, and one of the baddest drummers on the planet for many years there's no doubt uh but also one of the most astute uh musical and drumming historians uh and understanding understander of the lineage of the drums so i'm so excited because we're always talking talking about music and pianists and every time we start talking about drums we're like well, we got to think about what would hutch say yeah. what would hutch be able to well, inform us? literally last week we were listening <laughs> to we've been doing this series called ogs react to igs where two old dudes <laughs> react to some young instagram musicians. wait i thought og stood for original gangsters yeah. it stands for old old guys, old guys. Oh, yeah okay i got that wrong <laughs> <laughs> I was right, right. Uh, yeah. right. Mm. But are you able to are you able to recognize your influence on the younger musicians? You he, when you hear it, do you? I'm just wondering because you are one of the most recorded drummers of your generation, and you I think you are incredibly influential on all the it's, generations. That's you, a hard me to answer, man. I, you know, <laughs> that's like uh, that's what I'm wondering. Like, oh, are you able to even see it or hear it when you? Yeah, I mean. I just hope cats just if you want to emulate me or be an influence, just come to swing, you know, and come to be every night, you know, we give it every night you go out there like it's the last one. So if that's if that's my influence, then I'm super happy. Uh, otherwise, I would tell, you know, my thing is like, watch, you can watch what I do and then take it to the next level. Don't do exactly what I do, maybe and see the cats who influence me and then go check that out and come up with your own approach to it that way. You don't make the same mistakes I make, you know. So why, if you're gonna emulate somebody, that you have to understand, okay, well, wait, man, maybe that doesn't fit for my, the way I play. So mm. everybody is uh, contributes to this, you know. I think, and it's just the way that we we just have to like understand what is it we're trying to say. And for me, being that I've done this so long, I think I've had more to say a lot of times. So you hear more of me. And if that influences people, if I've been that to the generation, it's super cool. You know, we like to, like I said, keep the knowledge going. And we want everyone to be killing. Like, I want people to sound better than me because it just pushes me to keep going, to keep getting better. You know mm. what I'm saying? So, like, the better you get, the better I want to get, you know. Mm, so it's yeah. like a race until that, that clock, you know, runs out. But until that time, we that's what we need to do. So, yeah, we hopefully we keep influencing all the generations, you know. Yeah, I, mean, I, I that's why I love talking about this stuff because yeah. I think what I see, you know, and having played with you so much over the years, having the pleasure of playing with you and listening to you, but interacting musically, I see a lot of the young drummers, I definitely see the influence, but sometimes it's it's more just superficial stuff. Like they'll try to come out of the field the I was going to say, the, you the, know. The, the biggest influence, the, the biggest thing that he's best at is the hardest thing to do, yeah. which you're like the greatest listener I've ever I've ever heard like a greatest on stage, on stage yeah. in the moment listener I've ever heard like yeah. ever, you know what I mean and that's I think that takes a lot of time and they miss and it sometimes they like, do you yeah. know it's just patience you know it's just yeah. look if you go back to Pete when we were playing with Betty <laughs> or when we played with Roy we were young ambitious when I watched some of those videos online I'm like damn we just playing <laughs> play 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 yeah but you know the energy that you have and then as you get more experience you get to play with more people you kind of understand, like, I, we, I always talk about the, and it's so, it's so funny, I had this conversation the other day, the I and the we, right? Mm. And what we what I used to say was, you know, first it's the I, that's all the practicing we do in the rooms, and we come out playing, trying to play all the stuff we practice. Then the we is when we realize that the bigger picture is more important. The whole band sound is more important. But then the thing that came up the other day was someone said to me, yeah, but you can't lose the I and the we. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. And so they go hand in hand, and you have to understand how to manipulate both. And once you you do that, then that's that's the understanding of how it's supposed to be done. And you know, everyone comes to that point differently. You mm -hmm. know, some cats get it early because they're like we had a chance to be around the, the giants. So for us, 
that window of being wrong was real small because those cats used to always call us out, you know. Yeah. So that's what we kind of what we have to do for the generation now. But at the same time, everyone you have to make your mistakes, man. So mm. well, and the more mistakes you make, the more money I make. So keep making. <laughs> well, this is what we were kind of talking about. The biggest difference between the, the most youthful generation that's coming out now making their own music and our generation when we grew up was that you couldn't you couldn't be uh, you couldn't make your name without being in someone's band first you, know, yeah. you couldn't just come out and do your own thing and be on yeah. instagram or youtube and get attention that way you got attention yeah. by being in someone else's band and with that this thing gets passed on directly there's you know you're making mistakes but there's someone to tell you very yeah. directly like no that's not right you know the fans though yeah yeah so that's the problem like that whole right. thing of bands kind of died like you know and, and and we could say a lot of different things killed it off but the older cats had the they all had the bands right and so what you know and some younger cats too but what happens is the bookers promoters they get tired of say, seeing the same band and so they they often come back and say hey you know can you bring another project well, if you, well, that thus eliminates the band, you know. So yeah. mm. we 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 lost control of that. It's not like before where you cats like the band was like the you build the band sound, you know, like really that, and people were eager to hear what was going to come next. You know what I'm saying? Like, so they kind of killed that off. You know, they always want a special project, always a special yeah. project, right? All star well, band. I know. Yeah. Well, well sometimes well, the special project is to mimic a, one of the great bands from before. <laughs> it's like, come yeah, on. You know. That's what I think. I think we have to set the tone again, reset the tone. I thought during the pandemic that would be something that could really be addressed. And uh, so we have to see, you know, we have to really, that's something that if you work with a bunch of cats and you develop a sound, those are the guys you want to play with. You don't want to then work on some music that you develop and then have to go play with some all-stars. Just because they some bad dudes don't mean the, the band's going to sound killer. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's right. Just because you put a bunch of bad cats on the basketball team don't mean they're going to win. I'm, I'm looking at you, New uh, New York Nets. Oh, sorry. Bro <laughs> Brooklyn Nets. Sorry. No, man. <laughs> Lakers, baby. Come on, man. No, we were just listening to uh, Charles Mingus. Mingus uh, um, And it's not, okay. a, it's, it's not a band of, you know, legendary household name no, heavyweights, that's... but they were playing so much together and just swinging, and it was that's a lot sound. of good It stuff. developed a sound. And, you know, the leader has such a sound. So yeah. it's, the leader has a sound. The band takes on the shape, but everyone contributes to that sound, which – you know, I think it's a great thing. And but like I said, the the industry kind of wants to do away with that and they want more solo. Mm -hmm. And even in jazz, it seems like they want more solo like acts. They don't really want, you know, band, you know, there are very few bands that are selling records. Now. But is that do you think that we're are we ever going to get back to or maybe or do we need to? Or is it just a different time, like what you're talking about when we played with the greats? And then, yeah, we played with Roy, and we were all the same age, and that was a great working band. But we also played with Betty. You played with Ray Bryant. Like, there was that common. Remember we used to play with, like, Stanley Turrentine would come well, and play? I mean, like, those things are like Johnny Griffin. I mean, had we not had those experiences, well, that shaped us, you know? We have those 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 legends also with in this generation and the generation above us. Yeah. So it's a matter of that happening, but maybe it's not supposed to happen like that. Maybe that was for that era and for what we did. That was that. You know, wow. like we hate to say that. I think we can still pass on, but maybe it's got to be passed on in a different way. It's maybe you know, maybe go. because yeah. technology has changed so many things. Yeah. That maybe we have to also evolve in the way that we think about this concept of of that, which is kind of sad, but maybe that's what it is you know maybe people are not ready for like don't want to put in the long haul they just want the quick fix mm -hmm. and you know and sometimes that's not you know i think the if you develop something and, and watch it grow it's so much better than just something that's just random that could sound great if you put it together right of course you know if you hire the right caliber of cats it's, of course it's going to sound great but is it going to sound the same as some cats who've been playing together for you know for months or years you know no it's not gonna have the same feel no right. one's on there so. well and that's what we've been looking at with this you know the different igrs i mean even like we looked at jacob collier the other day and listened to a track and it's killing but like if he's not like he's got take six singing some stuff but it's all like just sort of plugged in here and there it's not like you know jd back and 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 domi like well i know they're doing the thing they're doing something with herbie or having herbie on so that's yeah. that's cool but like to have some connection i want these younger artists you know and i think that's up to us well, there's a, a young mentor is thundercat 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. They're like Thundercats, <laughs> yeah. an old cat that I'm hanging with. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah but I mean, guy. maybe like you say, it's just a different time. But it just we, I want to see those connections still made somehow. Yeah, I think they're being made. It's just we, they're being made so di- like it's online and it's you know it's a different thing. And then it comes together in the music. You know, as right. we did it the other way, we came together in the music first, and and we played a bunch, and that's how we developed our stuff. You know, yeah, worked out on the road. So that you know, I, that's hopefully with my projects. That's what I'm trying to do. It's like. I just want to tour. I just want to play this this music and then evolve and write the new the new album while I'm on the road or whatever. You know, yeah, just, yeah. You know how we road we road warriors, man. I've been doing this a long time. Yeah, like, man. I live for like to play the music and to evolve and not play the same stuff, <laughs> but really to show up in different circles where people don't expect me to show up. You know, like oh shit, that's Hush. Wow, okay. You know, and just like that, that's the vibe. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. So on, on that ro- note, I was thinking, I'm sorry. You wanted no, to I was going to say, you're on the road right now with uh, yeah. Kurt Rosenwinkel. Is that right? Yeah, that's no. nice. Oh, and killing me. and yeah. actually, anybody in the New York metropolitan area or beyond, because this will be hitting the your eardrums and video, uh, you're going to be at the Village Vanguard all this week. Yeah, this will be out on Wednesday. So Yeah, the yeah. 28th. So he'll, you'll be from Wednesday through Sunday at the yep. Vanguard. So try to check it out if there's still tickets available for some of the yep. sets. Aaron Parks on piano for all our pianists yeah. out there. Yeah. Oh, he's killing it, man. He's yeah. killing it. Aaron he's Parks, killing. Eric Rivas on bass, yep. Kurt yep. Uh, Rosenwickel on guitar. It's going to be a serious all star. I know all the cats are going to be there on Sunday, at least. Yeah, yeah it's <laughs> nice, man. We're coming into developing a nice sound. The music is really coming together. So yeah. a lot of different music. It's like playing with you. You know, you like you have you have a, a lot of different feels in the music. Kurt is exactly the same way. It's like, you know, think about the record that we did. Mm. That's that's what we're doing with Kurt live. Just mm. different instrument and, you know, different songs. But the, the approach is is exactly that. Some song we got a couple of songs where we just straight out swing and then we got some other stuff that happens. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it's that's the good thing. I think we're not far we're not that far all removed from each other and this is what we're thinking about now when we make records and we won't play live. It's like there's so much more than just we love to tip. We can all do that all day, but there's so much more music to be offered, and a wider range that we can cover. And because we're younger, we came up in the '70s, whatever. We listen to a lot more different styles of music, many more styles. So it allows us to do that, you know, right. and do it authentically. You know, don't do it if we're not going to do it authentically. Absolutely. Well, on that note, I wanted to, uh, if, it's, if it's cool with you, just play a couple of. Um, tracks that, that you're on that are a little bit not necessarily unusual but i know one of these you haven't seen because it's kind of it was from this year j ross tv yeah and it's from j ross our friend here we're gonna we're gonna cop some of his footage here but the first okay. thing i know that you know about because uh oh wait let me get this queued up right here this is from um something you did for vic firth i mean why are you why are drummers always doing stuff for Zil- for for the record company's youtube channel well you're doing for us too so that's cool you know yeah, man. <laughs> I was gonna say. I was like, yeah, you know. But I just thought this was kind of, you know, something because you're known for a lot of different things, but a lot of cats don't don't realize the influence you've had in this area. So this is uh, just a little bit of Hutch Hiker's Guy, which is a tune that Josh wrote for you some some years back. Yeah. That sounded like a flurry. Hold up. <laughs> but this is you, right? This is not an imposter. I know that's you. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Yeah, I don't remember any of that. I was oh, saying, man. was that a flurry? Did yeah. I hear one flurry, perhaps? But like a perfectly no, no crafted flurries, flurry? Man. No, no flurries. Like, I'm trying to remember. I remember doing it, though. Um, Ron Blake. Yeah, I remember. I remember. I remember. That I, That was, okay, so I got to put this out there. I'm now a Roland artist. So that was pre-Roland gear. That Cut was, it. Uh, Cut back- it. <laughs> yeah, cut that. That was Sunhouse. Big up to Sunhouse. No, no, big love to them also. Um, and Sockeye Drums. That was uh, yeah. No, I remember. I, yeah, I remember that. That was nice though, man. We had a good time. Okay. We were trying to get the concept of mixing the electronics with the acoustic drums and just you know, Sunhouse is an amazing product. It's really you have to really understand it. And, and that was my first time using it on a live video. So that's what that's what that video is for sure. 
fucked. Okay. I show him the J Ross because this. All is... right. So this this is what like one of the things that you're really known for, of course. And this is a whole different, like you were saying before, this is a whole different vocabulary here. Yeah. Yeah. So this is actually from 2022, and uh, I was at this performance. It was from around the yeah, corner. Yeah, me too. Me <laughs> Greg's looking like, what is this? This is a jazz at the bistro with Greg with um Christian McBride and Benny Green. Yeah. as good as it gets, man. Yeah. Also, Benny here. So light, you know. Pushing McBride a little bit. I like that. <laughs> Keep it about us. It's one of my favorite concerts of the past yeah. five years. Greg Hutchinson live. Something you might be interested in. Yes, I'm very interested in that. I'm very interested in that. <laughs> yeah, hey, that's what we do, man. man. <laughs> Nothing more you can say about that right there. Let's just get into it, man. That is Bri, good. You it. play with Bri, you play with Rick Bryce, so you know what it is, and, and with Benny, you know how Benny is. So it's, that's always fun, and we're paying tribute to Ray Brown. So that music, that plays itself. All you gotta do is sit down, just, just, just be in the right spirit, and uh, it's always gonna come out right. So. Yeah, but it's, you know, once you, I was, for, like I said, I was fortunate, man. I had great teachers uh, around some great people, and that, that was the music that we were trying to play, you know. So we, we have that in our DNA, but we also, mm -hmm. you know, grown up, grew up listening to other other influences and having other musical forms that we, you know, really like. So from Earth, Wind, and Fire to Stevie Wonder to all, you know, to everything. So it's all in there. It's just at various times that it comes out in different ways and you have to understand how to do it. And that's the difference between the OGs and the young G's. Whoa, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Well, Hutch, thank you so much for being yeah, here man. with us today. We got to get you in the uh, new studio, man. My pleasure, man. Exactly. We got some drums in there waiting, but we got to check if it's the right brand. Yep. We're, we're, we're going to bring in the correct We have a couple brand. different brands. We got a couple different. It's yeah, gotta yeah. Be, it's Let's gotta do be. it, man. I, I get some drums for you there. You know, Let's do it. Pearl. Yeah, Wait. man. So um, all the best for this week and for your continued travels. And um, I can't wait to see you again. And thank you for giving us the time. And um, we'll see you on the, on the other side. My pleasure, brother, man. Y'all take care, Adam, Pete, everybody out there, man. Keep swinging. Keep popping. Yeah, you man. know, it's got to pop off. That's my new, that's my, it's got to pop off. So got, come on. it can pop off every time, all right? All right. <laughs> Until next time. Yeah, Until next time, you'll hear it. Peace.